Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The topic of our discussion today is hyperprolactinemia, and we will talk about the causes, clinical features, investigations, and management of hyperprolactinemia. What is hyperprolactinemia? It is a condition involving high levels of prolactin in the blood. The part of the brain involved in such condition is anterior pituitary gland. There are specific cells called lactotrophs in anterior pituitary gland. The lactotrophs are the secretory cells which synthesize and release the prolactin hormone. So what is prolactin? Prolactin is the name given to a group of hormones produced by pituitary gland. That's right. Prolactin is not just a single hormone, it is a group of hormones. What is the role of prolactin in the body? Prolactin plays different roles throughout the body but the most important among all is the milk production in the body and it helps with the release of the milk when the baby is nursing during first few months when the woman is breastfeeding the high prolactin also serves to block ovulation and this is the reason why women who are breastfeeding usually do not get their periods and do not get pregnant as often Prolactin level is regulated by two hormones dopamine and TRH dopamine lowers the level of prolactin TRH increases the level of prolactin prolactin acts on breast and other target organs suckling increases the level of prolactin what are the causes of hyperprolactinemia the physiological causes include first of all exercise lactation pregnancy sleep physical stress and sexual activity the pathophysiological causes include pituitary conditions like prolactinoma acromegaly and cushing's disease hypothyroidism renal failure and liver failure certain medications like antidopaminergics antipsychotics and antidepressants antihypertensives like verapamil anticonvulsant for example phenytoin antiemetics like metoclopramide or domperidone opioids h2 receptor blockers for example cimetidine or ranitidine what are the clinical features of hyperprolactinemia those include galactoria oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea infertility visual disturbances and headache now prolactin has profound effect on fertility that is what we are going to discuss now women who have no pregnancy and are not breastfeeding should have low level of prolactin if a non pregnant woman has an abnormally high level of the prolactin it may cause difficulty for her to become pregnant Prolactin causes infertility in several different ways. It may completely stop a woman from ovulating. In less severe cases, hyperprolactinemia may cause ovulation less frequent. In milder cases, they may ovulate regularly but not produce progesterone hormone and this is called the luteal phase defect. What happens in the luteal phase defect? In fact, the deficiency in the amount of progesterone hormone after ovulation may result in uterine lining that is less able to have an embryo implant some women with this problem may see their periods come for very short period of time after ovulation now how to investigate a patient with hyperprolactinemia first of all we do different blood tests which include serum prolactin levels tsh levels and we do certain tests to assess for other conditions or causes of hyperprolactinemia another important diagnostic tool is that of the mri of the head especially the cella tercica level and by doing mri of the head we assess for prolactinoma now how to treat a patient with hyperprolactinemia first of all identify and treat the cause For example if hyperprolactinemia is caused by certain medications the cessation of the medication would be beneficial secondly dopamine agonists are very helpful in hyperprolactinemia and those include long acting bromocriptine and cabercolin etc 
and in some cases the surgery is advised especially those cases which are not responding to medications so when patient presents with hyperprolactinemia rule out drug induced hyperprolactinemia and other secondary causes like pregnancy test kidney liver function test and thyroid function test should be done and then we need to do the mri scan if mri is normal or negative it means it is idiopathic hyperprolactinemia if it is positive then we have two possibilities first is macroadenoma which can be macroprolactinoma or pseudoprolactinoma another possibility is microadenoma means microprolactinoma so thank you so much that was all about hyperprolactinemia subscribe on ops and gynae allah hafiz